Nestled in the capital city of Zambia, with a subtropical climate that is tempered by its relatively high altitude, with the heart of knowledge and innovation, lies the Information and Communications University, ICU, a hub of learning and exploration. Today, we embark on a journey to the forefront of climate smart agriculture, where our ICU's dedicated agriculture students are turning theory into tangible solutions. As we drive towards the campus demo plot, anticipation builds. Here, young minds are putting their education to test, crafting a sustainable response to the challenges of climate change. Welcome to ICU, Information and Communication Garden. This year, this is a research center where we are conducting some research, growing different crops. And these crops are being grown by our students, whom we train in agriculture, and now they try to do or to practice, to show us what they have learned. Now, uh, mainly our focus is on smart climate smart agriculture. In climate smart agriculture, there are three pr principles to uh, mitigate, adapt, and uh, we talk of food security. So this is what we are doing. We have a lot of, we, are, we have a lot of innovations that, are, uh, that we are practicing, and these innovations are spearheaded by our students in agricultural sciences. Hi, welcome to IC Demo Plot, which is a living laboratory where we practice what we learn in real time. Take for instance these tomatoes, which are very big. We are intercropping them with onion to maximize its production and conserve soil moisture by planting in here to reduce water and moisture spoilage. Instead of solemnly depending on artificial fertilizers, we harness the power of our natural resources like the manures and the vermiculture. Vermicomposting is a powerful tool to aid sustainable agriculture. On-site research is the heartbeat of ICU's agriculture program. The students are examining crops like onion and cabbage, seeking ways to adapt them to changing climates. Now, um when we talk of uh, adaptation, uh, uh, mitigation, and food security, we need to reduce the water loss in our crops. So they do the mulching, we do intercropping so that we can fight the diseases. Intercropping is not all about efficient land use. It is also about creating a balanced ecosystem by using crops, that have allopathic properties to deter pests of the weaker ones. Like we have our onions with our allelopathic properties that deter the pests of our cabbages. Spinach, lettuce, vondwe, onion. Here we practice multi-cropping. We diversify our products or our produce rather to make sure we reduce our economic risks. It is important to grow more than one crop so that when one does not perform well, you get back your money from the other one. So we have the maize here that we can see that we have planted and this maize our they are under drip irrigation that we are trying and we haven't put any chemical fertilizer here. The only thing that we have done is to put organic um, fertilizer and mostly we, are, we, are, we have produced as our institution, we have produced organic fertilizer that we are using and we are also using the chicken manure that we are uh, collecting from our chickens that we have at our university. Now, it's very important that uh, our students be ahead of these innovations. They come to school, they learn. We don't want them to go back not uh, having their hands on the practical part of agriculture. So they do this, they come, 
uh, during classes they will come here they conduct and they are doing research research we have students that are doing their final final year project they are looking at tomato looking at different way of applying fertilizer and also using the chemical uh, the, the, the the chemicals and also organic fertilizer that we have produced this is what we are doing there's also um, hydroponic uh, when we talk about hydroponic is water using where we plant in water without uh, without soil so with me here i have nft system nutrient fume system where we just plant in water using nutrient solution as our uh, fertilizer so here we have lettuce and spinach so this is a game changer to our future generation in terms of water usage and also in terms of uh, production production must continue without a land or with the land so here is hydroponic where we can just plant, uh, where we can plant our crops in water with less water. These students, under the mentorship of ICE's Agricultural Department, are shaping the future of farming. As the sun sets on ICU's demo plot, it rises on a new era of sustainable agriculture nurtured by the very hands that will inherit the earth. This is the ICU way. ICU, where knowledge blossoms for a resilient tomorrow.